I managed just to get that one. Literally just got here about a couple of hours ago, but I rushed to get that train up. And I'll tell you what, I only needed breakfast. I started to feel a little bit sick after running for that because there's quite a hill behind. Anyway, welcome to Benelli Viaduct. This is the viaduct that I've been trying to come to for quite a while. It's only recently reopened as a footbridge. It did used to carry a railway line across it. Um, to give you an idea, in the north direction, which I'll show you in a minute, that heads towards Langley Mill, eventually up towards Claycross Junction and, and, and at Chesterfield after that. To the south, which I'll show you in a second as well, you can see uh, it, it heads towards Toten, uh, Toten Yard. The line curves around to the left, it splits off at Trow Junction, that goes down to Nottingham. And then obviously you can see Ratcliffe Power Station in the distance. So there's not too many freights due through today unfortunately, uh, but we'll film what we can see what positions we've got there's a few interesting spots i saw this video on a guy called uh, trekking exploration uk he put the video up and he kind of brought the place to my attention and since then i've always wanted to come here and have a look at it because it looks like there is quite a few few good views panoramic shots as well that we can get some of the freights to pass so uh, first i'll show you a little way around of where we are and what it's like and uh, once i'm down there as well i can do some views of the viaducts as well uh, it's not really a proper viaduct, it's more of a bridge, but they call it Benelli Viaduct. So, uh, welcome to the video, let's get into it. So, as we can see in the background there, we can see uh, the Ratcliffe Power Station in the background. Just literally as where the line disappears, and you can see there's obviously the first bridge which the cars are going over now. The bridge just behind that is uh, Ilkeston Station. Um, so, uh, and as in fact, there's a train coming up now, which is good timing to give you an understanding of. Uh, um, of, of, of where the track comes from uh, as you, and obviously heading towards Ratcliffe that would be where the Toten Yard is that train there coming up now is obviously probably a um, possibly the Nottingham to to Liverpool Lime Street oh that's a northern service that's probably going up to Sheffield so uh, I never never spot on with the passenger stuff but uh, class 150 bus in there on a northern service So looking towards the north, as we see that uh, class 150 move away, that's obviously going towards the, uh, the uh, Langley Mill, which would be the next stop for that train. Just on the right here would have been the old steelworks, Benelli steelworks, where obviously track did divert and go into the steelworks. So as you can see, quite a vast area now, which is used for well, mainly people walking their dogs now, or people going for walks, and uh, saw a few people jogging on it this morning, but. Uh, Sad to see really, uh, industrial sites like this, well you couldn't even tell it was an industrial site before, but sad to see really these kind of sites closing down, but just gives you an idea of the view that we have off the, uh, off the viaduct here, it's a beautiful view, like I said the video that I watched, Trekking Exploration UK, was definitely worth a watch because he put some drone shots on as well which are very interesting to see, so um, let's see what freight comes through and uh, hopefully uh, it will pick up a little bit more in the next couple of hours.
but here we are we're at the footbridge and hopefully once we get up there we can get a good look to see the old viaduct a bit of history with this viaduct as we know this is obviously the the, the line that's running is obviously the area wash line but which was built by the Midland Railway the viaduct which we've start to see already incredibly the viaduct was built by uh, the Great Northern Railway and it was to uh, basically get access to the Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire coal fields so uh, by getting access to that I suppose there's a bit of competition but I can only imagine oh wow can you imagine back in the steam days how incredible this would have been with the amount of freight coming underneath from Toton Yard going through to Sheffield and all the cities up north and obviously all the uh, coal uh, traffic that would have went over the bridge as well it would have been probably quite a spot back in the day but there you go there's the bridge let's cross over the footbridge and get a better look and uh, we'll stay here for a bit see if we can see a couple of freights through here there isn't much due as I said earlier but uh, there you go so yeah incredible bit of work good to see it be restored really rather than go to waste and obviously now as we know it's used as a footbridge so yes we'll catch a couple of freights here when they come and uh, then we move up to an interesting spot up there which uh, is where the old Benini works used to split off uh, split off the main line here and we'll have a look Okay, so with the viaduct behind us, we're now walking towards what would be the old steel works, which was all here basically. So everything here was just purely just coal fields and things like that, which would have been used for the steel making process, iron ore, etc., which was being brought on trains. 
I'm going to head over now to that signal post, which was just up ahead. I'll zoom in on it. The signal post right there, and another one next to it, which is just behind the trees there, out of view. So I'm going to head over to there and uh, have a look and see what we can find. So actually, the post that I zoomed in on just now is that one there, which is obviously just behind the fencing. So I can't access that because it's still next to the airy wash uh, main line. But this one here is literally actually on this side of the fence I believe pretty sure it was I saw a video like I mentioned before and it, oh wow yeah so you can see here the track is still still there and you've got the old signal signal post there which is incredible um, there's probably some fantastic shots that you have to mind yourself walking over the over the old track oh look at that so that looks like that's going to be a good shot for the, I mean, a freight coming from that direction, from the north. And uh, south's not as uh, not as good, but uh, I'm sure if we can uh, find a good spot, we can uh, have a look nonetheless.
So I've come back underneath the fire dump. You can see the fire is from here. See if we can catch a spot here. We've got the uh, Tinsley to Barden Hill coming through, so if I can uh, catch it here. It doesn't look that great to be fair, but it's coming up quite quick now, so I'm committed, so I'll have to film it from here. Well, he was certainly a very friendly driver. Um, there's quite a lot of spectators on the bridge, probably because the bridge only opened recently, as you can see the length of it here. I think we're going to get back to the footbridge, do a couple there. And then once that's done, I'll get back up on the viaduct again and uh, finish off with a few long range shots and then head home.
Okay, so interestingly, I just spoke to someone, uh, a gentleman on the road, uh, from the is a trustee of the uh, Benelli Viaduct Bridge uh, Association or whatever it is. What he did say actually is the, and I was actually thinking this earlier, if you look ahead here, this bridge part here is different to this bit here. Apparently the reason for that is because that's obviously made with the iron, uh, the iron uh, from the iron works, which was, was next door to here. That was made with that. Meanwhile, the... Meanwhile, with this bit here that goes over the railway where you just saw the train, that was made with uh, with brick and obviously the the uh, was and, and obviously the, the metal bit on the outside of the brick. I'm guessing the reason for that is because Midland Railway would not let Great Northern Railway build uh, build with this iron, which we see on the main part of the bridge. Uh, apparently, they declined it and said we refuse to let you build over our railway line with this, as it was a bit experimental at the time. Well, experimental or not, it certainly lasted the age. guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like the channel and subscribe as well if you want to see more content i don't always do commentary and videos if commentary is not your thing then there are videos without commentary on uh, with information on the trains obviously on them in the writing as the ones that have passed today a couple more shots for you on from the viaduct i'll do from a bit further along the viaduct and then that's it at the end of the video so thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you soon